Taurus, you need to know this right now for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus, stay. Taurus. These are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Taurus, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on things, willing to work things out, or you're working on something, planning something. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Taurus, very well could tell me that, hey, I'm willing to work on it, willing to put in the work because I'm dealing with my soulmate here. Or you're telling me that this is all work or business dealing with some type of an agreement. Taurus, you have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Taurus, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. But Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. It is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there. Looking to expand. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now Taurus, listen, you know, you can tell me that, hey, you know, 
you're happy because your ships are here dealing with maybe some type of institution organization government so agency work or business or some type of an agreement taurus you can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there concerning an institution organization government so agency work or business Taurus, you could also tell me that, hey, maybe you're just waiting to forgive them because you still have a great deal of love here for this person, Taurus. This is your soulmate and you want to work it out. Taurus, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Taurus, listen, you could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, okay, from because something happened in the past that was brought back up here. You can tell me that you're walking away because someone from their past is in the picture. But Taurus, it seems like you're wanting to return and reunite with this person and work things out here. Taurus, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Yes. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Taurus could be dealing, yeah, really could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star. Hmm. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling was taking place here. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that, hey, this is your twin flame. Should I, shouldn't I heal things here? Taurus, you can tell me that they had another other lover and that you're needing to heal individually on your own because they were juggling. But Taurus, I hope that you're not leaving to work things out with a soulmate of yours. You're leaving going towards someone from your past. Are you going towards another other lover to heal things with them and you find yourself juggling or you're debating on whether or not to do so? Taurus, you could also tell me that this is a partnership with work or business, maybe getting your wish here, but you're debating on whether or not to take it, Taurus, maybe some type of good news concerning work or business. Taurus, you have justice. 
Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in, in come in and right or wrong and bring justice to a situation or we're dealing with something in the justice system clarify justice for taurus clarify justice for taurus clarify justice for taurus it is clarified with the hermit could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit. For Taurus, clarify the hermit. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Six of Cups again. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you know you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture, someone from your past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. You know, Taurus, you can tell me that something wasn't fair, balanced, and just, and so you're doing some heavy-duty soul-searching towards going towards your past. And this can be a past relationship here or maybe a past employer here, Taurus, because it could be work or business here. Taurus, you could also tell me that, hey, you're wanting to bring balance. You thought about it, and you're wanting to reunite with this person because you started off telling me that you're wanting to work things out here, dealing with your soulmate. My question is, is your soulmate your present partner? Or is your soulmate someone from your past? Are you and your present partner getting back together and reuniting? Or are you reuniting with someone from your past? Taurus, you need to know this right now from March the 17th through March the 18th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.